Yo, welcome Frony. So I did get an insight for the Ring of Dimension, a best in slot ring for me with skill damage boost. And I'm gonna use that ring now to explain you everything you need to know about the rune system. And important to note here is that system was not in the open beta, but it will make it to global launch. So I would highly recommend paying attention. If you want to access the rune system, you will find this new button here in the menu, clicking rune manage, then you will select the item that you want to go for. You will see here now that we are having three slots that can be unlocked. To unlock those slots, we will need rune hammers. If we want to unlock a slot on an accessory, it is one rune hammer. If we want to do it on a weapon, it's costing twice as much. So the first logical question would be where to get those rune hammers. And you can actually get them from various sources. One of the most reliable sources is here if you're going to the accessory crafter. And you will see here that you can craft rune hammers. You will need precious Polish crystals for it, which are really easy to get. You usually never run out of them. And if you do, you can get them easy by doing contracts. Then you will need rune fragments. Those fragments you can get by dissolving runes. So if you click on a rune in your inventory, you can click the dissolve button right here and it will tell you exactly how many rune fragments it will give you for that rune. Another option you can craft here is the rune hammer bundle. I would only recommend crafting that bundle if you're not planning to use the rune hammers yourself. Because this one costs Marin to craft and the other one the single one, if you remember, that one only costed the precious Polish crystal. And those are not worth anything basically but marins itself are worth lucent and can be sold on the auction and this is also the reason why you would ever craft that bundle is if you want to sell the rune hammer because another way to obtain rune hammers is in the auction house so you will navigate to miscellaneous you go down to miscellaneous again and here you will see you can now either buy or sell the rune hammers. What you can also buy are the energy drinks from today's sponsor, Rogue Energy. Because we all know I have a couple of kilos too much and Rogue Energy is an energy drink with only 5 calories per serving. And if you're going for the hydration one, it's even at zero calories. So it's my energy of choice. You can check it out in the link in the description. And if you use code PONY, you will even get 10% off your next order. You will also be able to obtain rune hammers versus the special shop, or to be more precise in the battle pass itself. A third way to obtaining rune hammers is here at the contract coin merchant, where you're able to buy 10 pieces every week. So you need to make sure that 600 contract coins are saved up for this. This is the best value for items that you're getting out of the whole contract coin shop. So this is a must buy every week. So now we know how we got the hammers, but we also still need to know how we are getting the runes that are gonna go in the sockets. And runes also have different ways. The main way and the most efficient way to farm them is by navigating to co-op dungeon right here and then choosing the challenge dimensional circle. Here, you will get runes as rewards and on this meter here you can increase the difficulty the higher you are increasing the difficulty the higher the quality of runes you are getting so this is the pve challenge of throne and liberty trying to clear a tier 30 challenge dimensional circle another reliant way to getting runes is by participating in dynamic events if you are in the event schedule you will see here all those events. If you are ranking high, you will get runes as rewards. You can also find them similar to rune hammers in the battle pass. And you can also obtain them from crafting, but I would only recommend you doing this if you've already unlocked all your sockets, cause this also costs rune fragments. And I would rather spend the rune fragments early on in, on getting the hammers. And then afterwards you can do it with the rune chest. This right here, is also valuable for example if you have lots of support runes that you don't want to level up and you want to change like support runes into attack runes so this is basically a reroll of the experience because if we are looking at runes you will see this one has currently a level 8 runes can be leveled up to level 60 and the way this rune leveling works is whenever you are dropping a rune of the same type. You are getting one additional level and then the next time the game recognizes 
and then it will for example here uh, drop that exact rune again it will be level 9 and the reason why it has to be the exact rune is that you cannot put any rune in any equipment so if you're seeing down here here i have the one that i can put in here because this is a defensive ring rune and this is a ring then here we are having a weapon rune we're having one for the necklace and so on so every rune needs to be precise to the gear itself. Another way to obtain runes and rune hammers is with the substance transformation here. This system for the runes specifically is so complicated that I will cover this in another video. We will have to go over spreadsheets cause it's not as straightforward as always conversion at year six and you're good. This is not how it works. I can already spoiler that. So stay tuned for this one. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. So we know now that runes need to be specific for a certain slot. Additionally, the runes itself have also different values. I will show you this right here in my quest log guide for the crossbow dagger that I'm playing. You will see here that the runes can, can roll with certain values. So first you need to find the rune of the value that you want. For me, that would be health. Then you need to level the rune with the process that I explained. And then you still need to combine the rules for a synergy effect. So in game right here, you will find the syner rune synergy list. And this will show the order in which you have to add the rune. So here we're having a defensive rune. The red ones here are the attack runes and the yellow ones here are the support runes. And each combination of attack, weapon and support will give different effects. And for this ring right here, I want to have the shield block penetration chance and the perception. So for me, this means I will have to get a defensive slot first, then an attack slot, and then a support slot. So when we are going with our hammers, we will see what we're getting. And it is defense, attack, support. So next one is attack. It didn't work. So now you go with the reset button. This is support. We do want to have attack. We have to re-roll again. The chance to get attack is 10%. The chance is for the other is one third. Yeah, so we have not gotten like really lucky yet. I did craft four new tries. Okay, sadly we didn't make it, we spent a bunch of rune hammers for nothing, but I think you're getting the idea on how to get the synergy going. Yeah guys, that was it, that was the rune system in a quick one. If you still have any questions regarding this or any other topic of the game, let me know in the comments. As always, I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys.